though they throttled the Steelers in week five, many felt the Jaguars didn't have a snowball's chance in Hades of beating Pittsburgh again. Several Steelers, including Le'Veon Bell, made it known on social media that a win over the Jags and a rematch against the Patriots in the AFC title game were imminent. I was kind of wondering why they were so confident because we stomped their ass last time. You can do all the talking you want, but when you get on the field, you're going to have to produce. You're going to have to show us what you're really about. The Steelers showed their mettle. Despite trailing by as many as 21 points, Pittsburgh never quit. He's caught for the touchdown by Antonio Brown. We're back to a one-score game. Hey, man. New game. New game. New game. With the Jaguars' top-ranked pass defense reeling and the centerpiece of their offense, Leonard Fournette, slowed with an ankle injury, Pittsburgh was primed to overtake Jacksonville. The Jaguars needed a response. It was up to their maligned quarterback to provide one. Let's go have fun, baby. Let's go play. Play your ass up. Let's have fun. Let's go. Let's go. When Ben was making his comeback, it seemed as if you guys were just calm. Is that the way it was? That's how we got to be. Uh, Blake was in the huddle telling us to calm down. Let's go get the win. Put it on five. It was all Blake. Third and five for Jacksonville. Blake drops the throw. Four-man rush. Looking, looking. Now he throws it out of the backfield. TJ Yellen's got some room. 45-50. Steeler territory along the left sideline inside the 35-yard line. What a nice job by Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles goes through his progressions, and it turns into a 40-yard gain. He went through four different receivers from the outside to the right, worked his way back towards the middle, didn't like anything, and remembered about Yeldon as his outlet along the sidelines. Tremendous job by Bortles. Blake is stepping up. Step up, Blake. High formation, too tight. Play fakes for now. They go to the middle of the field. Wide open. Tommy Bohannon. Touchdown, Jacksonville. talk about play action, they fake the lead play, and both the linebacker and the safety approaching Tommy Bohannon are dropping their weight to get ready to take on a block. And so Tommy Bohannon just runs right by him and he's wide open. The reason the play fake was so effective was because Jacksonville set it up perfectly. On the play before the touchdown, the Jaguars lined up in the same formation. Two tight ends to the right with Tommy Bohannon and Leonard Fournette in the backfield. Pittsburgh, knowing that Jacksonville likes to run the ball out of this formation, attacked the line of scrimmage. Linebacker Vince Williams neutralized the lead block by Bohannon, which left Fournette without a hole to run through. Let her run! On the touchdown, the Jaguars again lined up with two tight ends to the right, with Bohannon and Fournette in the eye. Expecting another run, the Steelers attacked the line of scrimmage. Only this time, Williams tried to blow up Fournette in the backfield instead of taking on the lead block. Without any resistance, and the other defenders sucked up by the play fake, Bohannon was free to run down the seam for an easy score. Three to six. What a call. Everyone's thinking run. All the Steelers are thinking it, and there's nobody covering Bohannon. Boy, that's a dagger right in the chest. How about this performance by Bortles? Big drive in the fourth quarter to win this game. All right, good job, Blake. Hey, you better call out all the people that hate on you, bro. Tell them what does Tennessee have to say now? Who chokes now? Are you feeling vindicated? You know, I'm just happy to win. I have no animosity towards, um, you know, anybody that's ever said anything. I think to come here and be able to do that against a good team in Pittsburgh is pretty awesome. You guys saw Le'Veon Bell's tweet. What did that do to this locker room? It motivated us, you know, a stroke of nerve. You know, you can't overlook us. You know, you have to respect us. He's a heck of a player. He deserves everything he got. But when you're looking past us and then you get hit in the mouth and look what happens. They're going home. They're going to have to watch us next week. <laughs>